Hey guys, this is Jonathan Burke with LiveBassFishing.com. I wanted to come at you. So last week I was fishing at the river. I don't know if you saw that clip, but I was catching them on a nose hook fluke. First I was catching them on a, on a straight tail worm, fished weedless. And then I, they started not turning off on that. So I picked up a few more on a nose hook fluke. And I just wanted to show you how I do that. So what you're gonna need is these little trailer springs. You guys have seen these. Couldn't find my center pins ones, but these work, okay? And you'll need a drop shot hook, something like that, or that. This is what I was using. And if you want to go more weedless, these Nico, um, weedless Nico hooks from VMC are amazing. But pretty much what you do is you take that that tra that trailer clip and you, that screw and you screw it into the nose of your bait so this is a, a zoom fluke and you just keep on going so once you get it there see that you just keep on going till it gets past the nose I mean past the plastic and is lined up so you got one more twist don't there yep one more twist to bury this thing. Actually, I mean, okay, see that? So you bury that thing in the nose of your hook, and then you take your hook and you bring it through the tip of the plastic. So you get plastic in it, and then through that hole with the hitchhiker, and then back out so you're actually in the hole of that hitchhiker and that way you're not going to pull out and it also allows free flowing on both sides of the hook and when you get this thing in the water it's quite an erratic action when you give it a jerk it twitches and darks like crazy um, so this one is the Yamamoto baits version it's already got a screw lock in I don't know if you can see that but it's already got one in it because I was doing this with this bait before and then also you got the Strike King caffeine shad which is probably one of my favorites um, it just has a really amazing darting action it's pretty a lot heavier maybe twice as heavy as the fluke and I'm not going to discount the fact that the fluke is awesome you also have the Z2 plastics um, kind of like the Elastec that Z-Man has, that uh, Strike King has, that will allow you to keep on the top and because they float and it'll keep you top water a little bit more. But you can fish any of these fast and get them to skip on the top or you can let them get down a little deeper if the fish are a little deeper and that's where you need to go. Get them close to cover, let them sink to where you want them and give them some pops. Just twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause and they're fast, fast, fast. Twitch, 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 pause. Just depends on what the fish want, what the cadence they want it. And you can pay attention when you're twitching them and when you're pausing, just like a jerk bait, and find out what action works for you. Sometimes they just want it to continually work erratic. Twitch, 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 burning across the top, jumping all the top like a shad that's trying to get away. But play with the actions, play with these. I, I, these will, I guarantee these will catch a fish. Um, try them nose hooked. If you're around too heavy to cover, you can always go back and Texas rig them with a, with a four aught, three or four aught um, extra wide gap hook. And that also works good. But the nose hooked one just gets a little more erratic action. And uh, I think you'll be surprised with the hookup ratio and how well these things work. This one sinks the slowest, the fluke. Still has great action. If you need to get deep quicker, I would go with the KVD, um, the Strike King version or the Yamamoto version. They sink a little faster and they quiver a little bit more on the way down. Uh, so if you need to get a little deeper, a little quicker, I would consider one of those that have more salt and more weight because this one, the, the original fluke, zoom fluke doesn't, and it's still amazing. You can flip that, but you should try these next time you're out and the fishing gets hard. That erratic darting action is kind of like a jerk bait. It creates, it's a reaction strike and sometimes they can be vicious. Um, coming from a long ways to get those lures. So I, I, again, this is Jonathan Burke with Live Bass Fishing. I recommend you go out, get some flukes of some variety, some of these hitchhiker 
screws. And then dish your big, just a little bit of drop shot hook. And go out and give this tactic a try. I was fishing it on, on in this occasion on 10 pound test um, with a with my jerk bait rod, actually my popper rod, and throwing it on a Shimano MGL 70 that was really swinging those slinging those baits where I needed to get them where the fish were. So go ahead and give that a try. I hope this helps. Comment below if it, if you do this or if it helps you, and make it a great day. And bye for now. little no slick fluke.